Hey, good morning, band members. Once again, I am Mr. Rogers, band director at Sonora Elementary for the Bobcat Band. Just kind of finishing up a burn pile this morning. So I figured it's at its point where it's not going to consume me in smoke. They could play some music with you out today. You can see I've gotten quite a bit of sun lately. I forgot to put on the sunscreen, but yeah, it happens. All right, guys, as the title suggests, we are going to play number one, two, nine, 129 technique tracks with an X. Look at your key signature and your time signature. They're pretty familiar from yesterday's sight reading tunes. All right, we're in the key of E flat. We've got four, four, four beats per measure. What you'll notice is there's going to be a couple of measures where you're dealing with pairs of eighth notes as well as individual eighth notes that follow a dotted quarter note. Okay, so think about how many beats that dotted quarter note gets. So a regular quarter note gets one beat, half note gets two beats. So what's in between one and two? 1.5 or one and a half. So that dotted quarter note's gonna get one and a half beats. So on that third measure, you're gonna hear the eighth note happen on the and of two. So one, two, and three, four, and one, right? So keep that in mind. You're gonna hold on to those dotted quarter notes a half a beat longer than you would a regular quarter note and then continue on to the eighth note after. Look at the slurs. Those are very important to play uh, the correct phrasing between the last four measures, all right? Look out for accidentals. There's a lot of stuff being thrown at you in this tune. Now keep in mind, in this part of the book, the tunes start to sound a little funkier because they're throwing technique-related uh, stuff at you. So keep in mind, it's not going to be a familiar tune. It's not going to be like Twinkle Twinkle or or jingle bells or anything like that. It's going to be focusing on your ability to just read the notes on the page and to follow through with sounds that you're not quite familiar with, okay? So watch out for that accidental and look out for the very last note. There's a courtesy accidental. This is your time to pause the video. So when you pause the video, go ahead and sight read this song on your own. Remember, always have an established tempo. If you want to use the metronome on Google, just type in the word metronome and set it about there, I would say, as good sight reading tempo. That's probably like 90 to 100 beats per minute-ish. All right? So go ahead and pause the video right now. I'm going to go check on the pile real quick. Pause the video and sight read. All right, how did it go? You wanna play it together? Let's do this. Exaggerate those slurs. All the notes need to be long, okay? One, two, one, two, ready. <laughs> Like I said, it's a kind of a funky one, especially those last four measures. Me personally, I don't really like the sound of that, uh, but sometimes songs are just going to be written that way. We call them etudes, etudes are a style of music where you're focusing on one particular musical technique or several. It could be that the writer decided they wanted you to focus on, ac on the accidentals and the slurs at the same time and to try not to be thrown off by the weird sound and get the rhythm still nailed down well. So if you feel funky playing it, that's okay. That's kind of what etudes are supposed to be anyway. You're just focusing on a technique, not so much something that you're gonna go out and perform. All right, so 
That's it for technique tracks. If you want to play through with me one more time, go ahead and rewind the video. Um, and then I'm going to upload number 130. You guys are in the 130s already. This is going to be crossing over to the next tune. And it's a brand new note. It's going to be a higher note for all of us. So play through one more time. Technique tracks. I'll see you again in a moment.